Weekends are more than just the break between weeks. It's the space where some of life's greatest moments take place. Happy birthday to you. We're about to take you on a weekend journey through our life and show you a little bit of what we call life in Japan. And it starts right here with this massive staircase. Here we go, just did it. We spend all week preparing for the weekend, which starts off with a bang each Friday when a new Life in Japan episode is launched. But with today's weather being absolutely gorgeous, I'm taking a few hours for a fun little adventure through the backwood trails of our Kawasaki neighborhood. There's some pretty awesome stuff real close to home. Walks through woods and everything. This is great. I found the trail that I was looking for. These signs are obviously old and these trails are old. It's fun to track down these old ways. One of the tricky things about these trails is that a lot of them go along streets. And so it's really easy to lose your way of where you're supposed to be going and pick up the trail on another side somewhere. Okay, here we go. We found the trail again. Now we hike back up the bluff and back down the other side through the woods by Yomiuri Lando. Some other very fun places. This trail is probably my favorite local trail. It's great. I soon saw that I wasn't the only one out on the trail enjoying the weekend. Once you see something, you really can't unsee it, can you? That's insane. Glad I don't walk through that. Ooh. <laughs> There are a lot of cobwebs here, let me tell you what. And a lot of spiders up there too. Oof. Oof. My. But even all the spiders couldn't spoil the walk, because if you've watched more than a couple of our videos, you know how much I love exploring nature here in Japan. Even nature that is part of the largest metropolitan area in the world. Okay, we're coming out of this beautiful wood area. We're going to be along the road for a little while longer until we get to the even longer part in the woods, which I also really like. It goes down the bluff on the other side. This is one of those things that I love to do on my day off, is to get out, to listen to great things on audio. I have these things on so I can hear great podcasts, messages, Bible. I listen to all these things and just take some great time outside. The weather's nice. Make the most of it. The scenes across Japan are varied for sure, with ancient and modern all next to each other. But as fall begins to set in, so do the signs of fall, like the early changing of the sakura leaves, or the late summer flowers along the way. It all signals that fall is coming and things are changing. I have the benefit of having walked this way before with Ruth, but this is the way we have to go, up here. And I'm not sure I would have known that unless I had come this way before. <laughs> what a cool little trail. This sure is better walking this way, getting to go downhill through this as opposed to trying to climb up all of this through these woods. Soon I emerged from the forest glade back to normal life as it were, and as I headed back home, I began to gear up mentally for what would be a big weekend. In fact, the whole family was gearing up for the weekend in a big and tasty way. Oh boy, another cake in the works. What's going on this time? Louise's third birthday. Louise's third birthday. We should be so big. We take a cake to Hiratsuka too. No, we're not. No, we don't have to take it. They're coming here this time. <laughs> nice, huh? Mama Chen's a cake pro, huh, guys? Yeah. So our weekend gets kicked off on Friday nights. 
when we have a life party here. We always stream new videos at 7 p.m. Japan Standard Time on Friday nights. And so we have friends and family come over and it's just a great way to get the weekend started. All right, watching Life in Japan with the crew. It's the life party here, yay. Join in with us and hundreds of people from all around the world as we watch and comment on the new episodes together. And you'll be a part of Life in Japan as it's happening. So that's the idea. Sarah's getting excited thinking what she might get, huh? Oh yeah, most days can't be spent exploring nature or discovering a new aspect of Japan, but a nice morning can always be enjoyed from our apartment. Starting off the day right is a big key to making the most of any day, and today being Saturday means anything is possible. Saturday mornings at the Riders. This right here. Yeah. We got an intense game of Mario Superstars going on. Some volleyball. Look out. Oh no. But if the weather's nice, you better believe that I'll make my way down to one of the many spots along the beautiful Tama River. You can tell the fall is settling in here. These sakura trees have already changed. Many other trees are changing and the weather's getting cooler. I love it. So always trying to share our real life with you. When I say real life, I mean it's the things that we're doing and a lot of times it does push us to look for interesting things to do here in Japan. But honestly, sometimes the best videos are things that we're not even expecting are gonna be huge. Sarah, what do you got there? What's your creation here? Wow, cool. Very nice, I love it. <laughs> Yay. Girlfriend, look at that. Look at the coke. Pretty good. <laughs> the crown works, huh? Yeah. You very carefully carry this like this. Don't bend it. Josh is in charge of the crown. Mama Chun in charge of the cake. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. All right. Going down. A little bit scary. It's so windy. So whenever Ruth makes a cake, it's either rainy or windy. <laughs> it's not. At least you don't have to take it far. It's not rainy. It's crown time. The crown has landed on its home. There it is. Is that what you wanted? Yeah. Oh, nice. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. While life often feels just normal while we're living it, it is anything but that. It is a most precious gift, one we must make the most of. Whether with family or friends, life is better in a tight-knit community. And sometimes that means quite literally knitting together. Oh, excuse me, crocheting together. There's some crocheting happening here. Oh yeah, Sarah is getting it done. Get it done, Sarah. Don't stop, keep going, keep going, keep going, you got this. Joshua, oh look at him, just like a monkey on the monkey bars. Oh dude, what a pro. Daddy's gonna try the monkey bars. Pick number one, yes, go, go. Are you ready? <laughs> That's cheating. <laughs> I'm not cheating, I did it. No, put your legs up. <laughs> I did it. Yes, our Saturdays are varied and diverse. It's often what you end up seeing on Life in Japan. But come Sunday, rain or shine, we know what we're going to do, even when the news isn't good. We're heading off to church today, what we do almost every Sunday morning, and we got the news that Israel is under attack. Over 300 people have died. They've taken hostages, and terrorists have just run amok there. So our thoughts, our prayers are with Israel for the peace there, just like it is in Ukraine. We pray for the peace there as well. Life is hard enough as it is, but joining a strong community can sustain you through any storm that comes your way. 
For over 17 years, Ruth and I have gone around the world with Paz, and we love working so closely with our good friends and family. Today I have the privilege of <laughs> preaching with Pastor Tim this morning. And I'm excited about this message today. It's, um, I titled it, Seek First. What do you usually do first and and what you put first in your life. A world-class team of volunteers helps make Paz Church not just an amazing place to visit, but a life-changing community anyone can call their home. In fact, just this last week, two new volunteers joined the worship team that I lead. And you could say I was a little excited. The service is just about to start here at Paz Church. Got Tatsu getting ready. Everyone's coming in. And look who's with me on praise team this morning. We got Anna on the keys and Becca on the drums for the first time together on the team. Awesome. Becca and Anna nailed their first time on worship team. It's going to be a lot of fun as all the kids start playing together on a great big team. After the service is done, people all split up into their different family groups. And some weeks, we even have gospel choir practice. But when the end of Sunday comes, we are ready to rest, relax, and get ready to do it all over again the next week. Fireworks! What? It's raining. It's raining. It's in the way. Oh my goodness! It's cool and cold outside. It is chilly, isn't it? It's so fun. Let's go. It's raining and you can't see the camera. It's raining indeed. Well, that's a huge one. I mean, it was a big one. I was looking at the camera. I wonder if that's their grand finale. I can hear it now. Was that it? I think so. The grand finale car. That was cool though, how about that? Very cool. Ciao. Ciao. Just got a blanket. Ciao. A blanket and a towel on your head. Look what just arrived. What do we got? Pears. Pears. A friend sent us pears. Thank you, Junko san. Can't wait to see them and try them. She said it's from her husband's hometown. Yeah. I need to open it and refrigerate it. Oh my goodness, it is very well packaged. Oh, oh What? Holy Look moly. at the size of one of these. <gasps> Holy stinking cow. What? What is that? Nashi. What? Ah, yeah. <laughs> Look at the size of it. Wait, I want to hold it as big as my face. We should Wait. cut one up and we can all try it. One hour later. Yeah, really. Good. Is it? It's from Kochiken. From Kochiken. Ko way to the way to the west. Mm. How is it? Good. Describe what's happening in your mouth. The party is Becca, you're drooling on your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Becca likes it so much. <laughs> what if Joshua wants some? No. Mm -hmm. He doesn't? No, he's not a huge nasty fan. Alright, Mama Chan, you gonna try some? I want to try something. <laughs> You're going to be tapping <laughs> for a while. Oh, and Mama turned. Diving in. Mm. Oh, it's so sweet and crunchy. It's perfect. It is perfect. perfect. This is like the size of most pears right here, and this is just a slice. Mm hmm. Mm. If you know what American pears are, like the Bartlett pears, it's just completely different. There's nothing like American pears. Right. American pears, they're kind of soft and they're sweet. I like Bartlett pears. 
But this is like a different texture altogether. It's like almost crunchy, but not quite like an apple either. No. It's super sweet. Mm. Uh -huh. yeah, it's good. It's like dessert. The only thing left to do this weekend is to rest up. Tomorrow starts a new week and we do it all over again. If you enjoy these videos and want others to discover them, then do everyone a favor and subscribe to our channel. You never know what video surprise may be next. Join the picture for all of us, all the works that we do. Oh, cool. Cool.